All right, no intro. Let's just get the video started. <laughs> So, yo, how's it going, everybody? My name is Armando, and welcome back to another, well, Dead Frontier video, guys. I mean, come on, we just upload Dead Frontier video. <laughs> so, guys, I'm going to keep this review as simple as possible, not too long. I know you guys just want to focus on the review, so without further ado, let's get on with it. Again, this is for King Vadetta, I think that's his name, the last guy that let me the... Oh, crap, what the hell are you doing? There you go. Nice damage. That let me the Rust Hound, but, yeah, again, thank you very much, man. I appreciate you helping me out, and without further ado, let's get into it. So the Rhea 55, it has 18 bullets, as you can tell, 335 damage per critical hit. Uh, it has a very high critical chance and it uses 0.55. I have this God crafted and it helps with the armor uh, defense from the death row. So overall, this weapon should be okay in death row. Like I said, I'm not a huge uh, fan of using loud weapons in death row because, well, it gets a little crazy. But overall, if you do have the skills to pay the bills, any weapon will do in a death row and you'll be okay. All right, especially because, well, they weren't made for that area. <laughs> so first things first, let's see. Is it pretty much a one shot? Well, I just saw a 335 on that freaking green bloat. So it should be most likely a one shot. I don't expect anything less. 335, 335, 335, 335. Oh, I actually got hit from that. Yikes. 335. So it has a pretty steady uh, fire rate. It's not the worst. It's not like the, um, whatchamacallit, the X Dusk Enforcer that goes, tuh, 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 you know? But it does have a heavy hit, which is what I love in any weapon, to be honest. When it, it could be slow as heck, but if each shot is a one-shot, you know, I don't care about the speed. It's just going to be amazing. So it doesn't one-shot leapers, which is unfortunate. But hey, who cares? They're leapers. They're supposed to kind of survive a shot, more or less. But yeah, overall, the weapon is going to, well, it's just going to rule the white zones and the black zones. And, you know, it's most likely going to rule the wastelands. It's not going to do as terrible as anybody would think. And pretty much it is a weapon that I personally would craft just for fun, but because I have the X Dusk Enforcer and that I have yet to upgrade to the Dawn Enforcer because I've been kind of lazy in getting the parts. Uh, if you have the Dawn Enforcer, I don't really kind of like recommend getting this weapon. You, I would only get it for the aesthetics and to kind of have like a show off feeling. <laughs> like, hey, look, I have a Rio 55, you know, was that a Dawn Enforcer? Psh. But overall, <laughs> it's still a sexy looking weapon. I love the design. It looks sick, man. If this was a first person uh, game, Oh man, I, I would just love to show this thing off in the inner city. It just looks really nice. I mean, the Dawn Forcer looks good too, but it's just gold. <laughs> so like always guys, we're going to go ahead and have a bit of fun with these uh, bosses here in the in the second on Bunker. I mean, like I said before, these weapons were made for the Death Row, so it shouldn't have much difficulty. It's standing its own in the white zones. If I can find them. Where are these little zombies at, man? Where are these bosses at, man? They always hide from me on the last minute. All right, so I was in the wrong zone, apparently, but uh, yeah, there you go. That's, that's a lot better. Zombies are mad for no reason just because they see me. They just want to hunt, hunt me down. I mean, but hey, what we're here for is the one main objective. Kill the boss, show off the strength, and yeah. And as always, like I said, guys, if you're ever finding a boss, uh, always make sure you outrun the aggro, and then the boss becomes pretty much a piece of cake after that. It, it's, it's really easy. Come on, 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 come on. There you go. Oh, you guys finally came out. Uh-oh, don't get too cocky, Armando. All right, all right, all right. We got three of these guys over here. Um, zigzag, by the way. Don't, don't, don't do what I did there. Don't, don't run in a straight line. Always zigzag. Save your energy. Don't let them follow you. Yeah, yo, these guys' speed is insane, man. Yo, relax. Oof, but the damage on this weapon is incredible. Oh, oh, oh. Watch your back, watch your back, Armando, watch your back! Oh, I'm oh, getting pushed around like I'm a raptor right now, oh my god. Man, yeah, the flaming flesh hounds are kind of annoying boss to fight. Oh, he's already flinching, nice, look at that, look at that! Yeah, this weapon will have no problem holding down, holding it down in the white zones or in black zones in that fact. Death Row though, it might be a little difficult, but hey, that's Death Row. I mean, it's it meant to be stupid strong, or stupid hard, I mean. Man, I love fighting for these at the same time because it's just, it's kind of like, <laughs> it's kind of fun. You got to kind of zigzag in a way where you won't get stuck. So if, you know, if you make one wrong move, you're pretty much done for. <laughs> so that's fun. All right, come on, buddy. Oh, at least it one shots the spiders. That's not bad. Oh, God. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. I'm going to try to make them follow me. Only me. Don't get stuck on anything. Not even fire trucks. I want to kind of take these guys on by, oh, never mind. They got stuck on fire trucks. Wait, wait, there you go, there you go. <laughs> Come on, one of them is gonna fall. Come on, come on. One of you guys have to fall soon. There's no way you're taking all these shots and you guys are still chilling. Oh god, my horde size is 150. Jeez. 
Alright, buddy. So you guys seem to be playing a little too much here. Let's just end it real quick. There we go. Another one came in. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Wow, these guys are taking a lot of hits. Wait, wait, wait. Some of them are super red. Okay. Yeah, for me right now, the rust one is looking really good. Man, I can't wait to use my Hellstorm. <laughs> that, that gun is so nice. I had to buy it. I'm sorry, I really had to buy it. That gun was... That gun was... This is just beautiful. <laughs> okay, come on. come on. There you go. One is down. Boom. This one should be going down. Another one just spawned in. No problem, no problem. This is easy. This is light. Another one went down. Did he die? Nope, he's still alive. Oh, a little bit of lag there. No problem, no problem. And another one went down. Nice, but not least, you, buddy. Come on, do not start walking away from me like that. There you go. There you go. Play fetch, boy. Here, catch the bullet. Catch the bullet. <laughs> oh, damn. Alright. Come on. I hate when they do this. Like, there's so much critical that he can't keep up. Okay, I need a little bit of space there. <laughs> it's kind of funny, to be honest. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come here, Billy, 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 Billy. I'll name him Billy. There you go. Oh, you almost got me. Oh, close, close, close. There you go. Come on, Billy. Come on, boy. Come on. Here, Billy, 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 Billy. All right. Come on, buddy. You got... It doesn't take that many bullets. I think it's so far it's taking me like three clips. So, yeah, I, he's almost done. There you go. And he's done. Wow, this weapon really is something. He looks... Oh, wow. He actually dropped me some loot. Nice. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, great terminal reactive. Not bad for a first loot. Well, of the day. <laughs> Honestly, this is the only time I'm playing this game right now. <laughs> Let's see the second loot, second loot, second loot. Oh, oh, another, wow, another 40k loot. Not bad. Okay, I'm having a little bit of fun now. Two loot, two loots in a row. Okay. And, whoa, three in a row. Wow. That's 120k in one loot run. Jeez. That's, uh, that's pretty good. <laughs> And well, 20k, so we made around 140k in what, 9 minutes? <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, back in the uh, polls, like I said, this weapon is, um, it's nice. PvE, armor, penetration, player versus, um, I think, enemy, or <laughs> a zombie, whatever it's called, but yeah, slow reload speed, slow firing speed. Very high critical chance, so again, because of the very high critical chance, you'll be hitting a lot of criticals, duh, but yeah, 120 20 pistol score required, 0.55, 18 round capacity. It's a very rounded out weapon. It really is. Uh, let's see how much I made from that loot run. Uh, let me let me scrap this. <laughs> I'm funny. There you go. Boom, 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 boom. Made 142k, 140k, cause that's 2k in there. But yeah, in terms of boss hunting, it's not gonna be bad. Uh, it, it will have a bit of problems against the chart, I believe. But like I said, if you know how to, you know, if you know the patterns, you know how to run around, you know how to dodge and everything. This weapon should be no problem for you. It really shouldn't. All right. Uh, I love it. It's a good weapon. I mean, like I said, it's part of the new generation of weapons that came out this uh, this year. So, yeah. Uh, I think that's it for the review, guys. Again, let's, a huge shout out to a huge shout out to King the Deta. <laughs> God, that stupid name. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, I, I really do appreciate it. Uh, now I have all these point fifty five that I have to get rid of. Great. Uh, yeah, I have to start buying less ammo, dude. I just don't need it. But yeah, Shimon is on the out. See you guys in the next one. Uh, next one will be basically the sword that people have told me to try out. It's supposedly a good sword, Inquisitor. But uh, yeah, looking forward to it. All right. All right, guys. Till the next one. Take it easy. Bye.